An international project is uncovering new information about Lake Ontario and how it changes throughout the year. As Liam Healy explains, insights from this research could eventually help us to identify water quality issues earlier. Just behind me, off the shore of Lake Ontario, sits a sensor about 30 feet under the surface that tracks the light and temperature. What's different about this one versus other sensors that are out there, this one is there year-round. No boats go out in winter, and we generally take in all our moorings in winter because we're worried about damaging them with ice. Dr. Matthew Wells is one of many working across borders to study how the temperatures in the lake change throughout the year. Previous to now, though, they weren't able to collect much data over the winter outside of just surface temperatures. There's a big gap in our knowledge in the Great Lakes about what happens in winter. Um, basically, we don't know anything between late October and early April. Specifically, what they're studying is known as the lake's thermocline. We usually have layers of temperature. So during the summer, there's a warm layer at the top of the lake and a cold layer at the bottom, and these don't mix. They've got different densities. While they're still analyzing their first year's worth of data, they have found some interesting observations already. This layer between the warm and cold water can move up and down 20 or 30 meters during a single day. This can create, along with other processes, large changes or gradients in water temperature across the lake. There's lake-wide gradients in water temperature. The fish are they're either responding to it or it's affecting their metabolism. So maybe it's too hot or too cold and they don't grow as quickly as you'd expect or they move. According to Dr. Wells, as we understand more about what happens in the lake during the winter, it might be able to alert us to upcoming water quality issues, such as if the fish are safe to eat or even if harmful algal blooms are going to form. Though to get those answers, a lot more work and a lot more study needs to be done. Reporting from Lake Ontario, Liam Healy, News 8.